Welcome to Tigers Untapped, a Bluff City Media podcast. Stepping up to the microphones are your hosts, Trey Lasley and TJ Willis. Pull up your chair, grab your favorite brew, and enjoy the conversation. Now, let's get to the show. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will join us in a moment of silence to start the episode. Thank you. Um, for those of you not aware, uh, <laughs> we are very, this is difficult for us to bring to you guys this evening. This is our last night in studio. Oh, God. Yeah. For the foreseeable future. This looks like pins oil. Well, can we, before <sighs> rumors abound, before rumors abound, yeah, right. Let can we make it clear out. the air? Let them do it. Uh, just respond to this episode and what you think is happening. Why are we leaving the studio? Could it have been? Was it last week's events that drove us out? <laughs> yeah. Is it demands from some of the other shows that record here? Mm, 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 mm. Is it? Is there? Is there beef between the shows? Is there some sort of infestation in the building? Mm. Do there need to be two toilets side by side for battle shits? Is it because somebody shit it all over the toilet and we're <laughs> having to leave? <laughs> and didn't clean it. Made me have to clean it. Oh, Some stay tuned to find attack. out. But for the foreseeable future, we will be in the virtual studio until Kenneth finds us a new home. I'm going to find you a new home, boys. Because you know why? One of the highlights. Holy <laughs> He's waiting on that. One of the highlights. I am, not, I am not. I am telling you right now. I'm not finishing this. Can I get a taste? Let me. Let me try. Germantown Parkway right. is closed, and I have to go the long way home. I am not. There is no way that I can finish this. All right. So those who don't know, this is Wiseacre Astronaut Status. It is a bourbon barrel aged Imperial Stout get with cinnamon it. and vanilla bean. This is uh, what it looks like on the oh, front. Wow. You probably can't there see is, it. Zero percent chance that I finish it's this. Like yeah, it's um twelve and a half percent liquor. alcohol by volume <laughs> in a twelve ounce can. I mean, this <laughs> oh is holy Toledo. Wow. Whew. I mean, it's singeing the nostril hairs. I almost brought this last week for us, but they weren't really that cold. I couldn't imagine. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 It's even more intense. I mean, that is like a straight-up bourbon yeah. tasting. It's like a drink of beer, and there's poured bourbon in the beer cup. What would you say? Cinnamon and what? Vanilla? Yeah. I haven't gotten that yet. I'm hoping that's I'm at the bottom. more something. chocolate. Uh, Trey, was I supposed to, like, swirl this up? Can you see how dark this is? Yeah, it's hit my shorts, and it's stained instantly. I mean, this looks like the the Hershey's syrup that you put into <laughs> chocolate to make, or put into milk to make a chocolate milk. Yeah, I don't know if we... No, we can't pour. If I pour it, I'm going to make a mess in here. Um, hey. Oh, my gosh. I have a 7.30 in the morning. I am. I can't finish that. TJ did this on purpose. I did. Legitimately. I, this may be the first time ever I have not... Well, I didn't, we didn't finish Andy's Mint. Is this worse than Andy's Mint? No. Andy's Mint tasted bad. We're, we can't do this right now. Okay. We'll do that later. Yeah. Uh, for, like, the seventh attempt, Colby Rogers. Welcome. We have another landing uh, from the Memphis Tigers transfer portal era. Uh, Wichita State shocker, Colby Rogers, the 6'4 junior guard from Cummington, Georgia. Uh, biggest piece of this is Timothy. We talked about last week, was it? We were talking about three-point yeah. percentage. This kid's a sniper. Fully. He straight up sniped us, that's for sure. He's shooting he shot forty, almost forty-one percent, basically, from three last year. On how many attempts a game? Seven. Seven. That's disgusting. Yeah. The year before at Siena, he was forty-two point nine percent on six attempts of three. That's wild, man. The last two years, his kids shooting forty-two percent, forty-one and a half percent from three. That's absurd. Shoots it from a high clip at the free throw line as well. He's plus 80s, 83% the last three years. I mean, he's not getting to the line 12 times like PJ. Fantastic. But he's, when he gets to the line, he knocks him down. 
you know, that's one thing we talked about with the addition of Danger and and Haggerty. You're going to have to surround these guys with shooters. And, like, off to a good start. I mean, arguably, I don't know the statistics. Is he Was he the best shooter in the American last year? It seems hard to get. I don't know. In I terms of if, if you look at. On attempts at attempts, night, yes. With percentage, yes, he has to be. I mean, I, I don't. I, don't I mean, someone could shot, uh, you know, 100% with one attempt ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're saying minimum attempts, right? You have to have, like, you have to have a, at least attempted, like, a three and a half a night in conference play. My tongue is burning. Burning? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is this is intense here. I'm trying to find – I thought I had saved Memphis basketball all-time statistics. For what? Statistical to see leader. who is our leader for threes all time. Correct. Three point in, in a season. In a season. Oh, I wonder who that is. Um, and I am okay. 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 I'll get back to you. We'll talk about this later because uh, shit. We should just go to my parents' house. They have every statistical almanac ever given. You know, they used to give those out pre. I loved them. Really? Yeah. They preseason when you had season tickets, they would send you like a media guide. Hmm. We have. Every single media guide until whenever they stop doing it for both football and basketball. That's intense. It is intense. It's like a Lind- Lindy's. Yeah. Oh, here we go. You got it? I think so. Any guesses? Uh, give me a, an era. Um, I'm on the page. It's still loading. I'm sorry. Get out of here, dude. I don't know why. Rodney Carney keeps coming to mind, but I can't. I mean, All right, so do you want? Shot him at a high clip, but here we go. Do you want field goals made, attempts, or percentage? I don't know. Well, you were the one looking it up. Why did you? Uh, want? And I, I, it doesn't matter. I have all three across the board. Kenny, you're in on this too, buddy. Memphis, in one season, who has the most? Oh, most three pointers made is probably Tyler. Hmm. All right, let's go with percentage. Why is that right? No. Oh, I mean, in a, in a season, no percentage. Um, Are you asking for the number? Who it was? Both? Is it Lester? I, no, the number is irrelevant. Oh, I, I, we can go with the number. Is still, it Lester? No. You still haven't given me a time frame. I, if I give you a time frame, it'll give it away. Mingo Johnson. It's a very close guess. He is number two on the list. Really? Got to be Ronnie Carney then. Percent. Got that's one of my earliest. Uh, one of my earliest Tiger basketball memories is going to the pyramid and hearing the student section saying, am I in geo? Am I in geo? And Mingo. Anyway. All right. The answer was Rodney Carney. I see. What I know. Is it? I, I knew you said it earlier. Kenny threw it out there. I was like, I'll just give it to him. Carney also holds most field goals, most three point field goals, most three point goal attempts. And of course, three point percentage in one season. I also my wore, question to you: Does Colby Rogers break that percentage? I wore, wore knee high socks um, because of Rodney Carney at mm. one point in my basketball career. Wow! Does Colby? Okay, say what they were again. Thirty thirty nine percent. Thirty nine percent. What? How many makes? I'm not sure that part's relevant. Is it? Is it? I, I mean, you. going off historical, okay. the last two years, Colby breaks it. Um, attempted. 261 made 102 percentage 39. Mm. So 102 of 261. And Colby Rogers was, I don't have his totals, I don't think. Wow. He was 99, 99 of 242. 242. So he's up against the cusp, my boy. Wow. I think he does it. I think he does it too. I think he averages eight threes a night. That's a lot of I'm shots. Tough. I'm going to say no only because it's just for some reason when people come here, it just doesn't, the transfer three point shooters, it just doesn't hit the way it's supposed to. You just to. have a bad taste in your mouth because of I know. astronaut Aquan status. Our last, no, it's because well, of astronaut yeah, status. It is. It's I mean, that's an bad. elite level, that's elite shooting. Yeah. yeah. Seven yeah, attempts yeah, yeah. a game. It's absurd. At 40%. That's crazy. And, and it's you, crazy to think that as you watch the, the little one minute clip Hitman put out, it's not just spot up either. Like, no, it's off the dribble set. stuff that's I mean, sick he's, for me. Yeah, and it's, I mean, he's catching nets on fire. Who's the last guy that, had, that just up. had that ability? Just like, that's a, that's a, that's a, uh. who is that? To say, uh, that's a, that's a, uh. yeah, that's, with, 
I love the in-depth analysis. Outside, David Jones thought he was that guy. Thinks he's that guy. David Jones Sometimes. is that guy. I mean, he kind of was. He I, know, that guy. I know. I know. Especially with a hand in his face. He's that guy. I know. Outside of David Jones, we'll say it that way. Just a guy like I, off the dribble, like yeah. Because Lester was a great three point shooter. Tyler. He was, just wasn't really yeah. It's got an be off Tyler. the dribble guy. I think it's it be was Tyler. Tyler. I think it was Tyler. Yeah, it's got to be Tyler. Yeah, I mean Lester was really more of a getting his spot, catching. Sh- <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> that facial expression. There's is a lot going great. on in my mouth right now. It is. It says taste the rarity in this. It is a it rare. It is rare. It's very rare. Wow. I mean, if this was a steak, it would there would still be blood coming out. <clears throat> wow. Dang. Um, also, per Evan Maya, Memphis is now ranked with the fourth nope. best. Did it change? It's changed in the last seven hours. So fifth or sixth? Seventh. Seventh. Yeah, I figured they would drop. I, I Because Arkansas got Ivisich and. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. So let me. It's early, too. Let me tell you. It's very early. Although Arkansas, it wasn't Arkansas's doing it. They didn't, uh, they didn't jump us. So currently Illinois is at one. Texas two, Missouri three, West Virginia four, UCLA five, Maryland six, us at seven. Wait, who's two and three? Two and three is Texas and Missouri. Ugh. Who did Texas get? Who did they just get? Um, I thought they just had someone hit the portal. No, they just got somebody out of the portal. Oh, what's his name? I just saw it on Twitter. I can't remember. I know I saw it too, and I can't. Tyrese Hunter. No, nope, that's who I'm looking at. Tyrese Hunter entered the portal. That's what I saw. Dylan Mitchell is the other one. I'm only seeing exits. Youngblood went to Arkansas. I mean, to Alabama. Alabama, Alabama, Alabama. It's a good pickup by Bama, man. But thank you, Alabama. Oh, they got Tremont Mark. That's That's what it was. That's what it was. Oh, he has eligibility. That was yesterday. That was yesterday. Yeah, he has his the same way Walton has another year somehow. How weird was that? Well, it was a rough breakup, I heard. So, Which, yeah, we hadn't (laughs) even talked. What? Goodness gracious. <laughs> Goodness gracious. What? The I team, the whole team broke I, up. Yeah, they did. The whole program, quite frankly. Yeah. I mean, they are starting from scratch. Now talk to the team. There's there is no, no team. There is no team. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> it's going to just be Kentucky. Except for the fact that 2. nobody, 0. like, gosh, this is so strong. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Has anyone ever finished one of these? I don't know. My tongue is literally going numb. I think is what is going on. I said it had like I, a I mean, I want to numb. because it's going to create a wonderful end of the episode for you and I to be on a 12 and a half percenter. I, can you see this? Yeah. It, it has stained my shirt from where it dropped. And that ain't coming out. Yeah. You need a Tide to go pen. I have some in the car. Um. Anyway, we're seventh. We did. We had a departure that no one even knew about. We didn't know you could buy tickets for this one. But Jaquan Walton has entered the portal. Oh, uh, yeah. Somehow. Some well, way. I will say that you can enter the portal. You can make the statement that you've entered the portal and not actually have any eligibility left at the same time. Like, you can just say that, right? Who's stopping you? You could say you are entering the portal right now on Twitter. What's stopping you? But he didn't, he didn't say it's been reported. He's in. The, I can't go out there and just put my name in the literal portal that's online. I don't, I don't online. know that's true. I don't, if you were enrolled, I don't I don't know think anybody true. can. I think you have to have collegiate eligible. To go in the actual <laughs> portal on, li- on the line, you can't just create an account and go on the portal. I don't um, even know what the portal looks like. Yeah, I don't either. You that. ever seen it? No, I'm going to Google it, though. You think he ends up back at Bama? You think? It- mm-hmm. No. I hope he goes to Arkansas. Why? Why not, dude? Think he ends up back at Wichita State? <laughs> hey, we have some have some minutes, about thirty one minutes available. All the three point shots you want. Come on back. Oh, find us a picture of what the portal looks like. Screenshot. Um, so we talked about it already. I'm trying to move this thing forward just to let my I think if I move my tongue, it's less likely to go to sleep. Um, surrounding Haggerty, Dania with shooters, Colby Rogers, hell of a start. We know that they reached out to Aaron Scott. That is a 37% guy. He was on a visit this weekend. Um, Do you think that I'm not – do you think Penny puts one of his candles in the Peabody hotel room when they, like, show up? You know, they, like, with all the snacks snacks and stuff. stuff? Do you think there's a a candle in there? Is that illegal? No, why would it be illegal? Are the snacks illegal? I think when you're on the official visit, all is fair. 
I think, right? Yeah. I mean, they get clothing. We've seen that. Well, not all is fair because Rick Patino got in trouble for all is fair. Well, that was like strip club stuff, I thought, right? Yeah, it was prostitution. I think. Or prostitution. That's what it was. Right, and he is, and he a is at St. John. Aaron Scott's at St. John's right now, so you never know what Rick's doing over there. Did you guys see what Rick Patino said, by the way, about Mark Pope? No, that if, that if he it's pure he said slander. Something. No, he was like, if they need nil money, I'll write the check. Oh, I I am very surprised that they did not go back after him. You guys are making me think but. I just dreamt that, and that's not real. No, that's true. I remember that now. Um, I'll be real honest with you. Aaron Scott is someone that I'm very much so interested in for the Tigers. Do you think that Aaron and we haven't even mentioned his teammate from North Texas who lit us up starting the game four or four from three. Uh, also another 40% a night. 45. I would say he's 45%. Even that. I remember if I saw it. Uh, that's on how many attempts? 4.6. Jeez. Holy cow. We could have some snipe. Well, I don't want to get too excited because we've yeah, said this before yeah, about our team being, being the best three-point shooting team ever. And then couldn't make a shot. Uh, John Bugs the third. Bugs Bunny. 6'2". Six, 6'2", two. Six, two shooting guard. That's kind of kind of small. Can you yam it? Can you yam it? I'm sure people said the same thing six, two is about CJ McCollum, too. We've been rolling out 5'8 guards. 6'2 is... A six-two standstill God. shooter, not off the Ooh. dribble kind of guy. That's the interesting part about it is that his game does not does not seem to be he's not a real conducive three. to his height, right? right? Like right. he's a standstill spot up shooter. That's fine. Not off the dribble, and he's not That's like fine. a he's not like a real three and D type of in his defensive. I will say, but with that, he's never blocked a shot in his whole life. He demands respect when he's out there all you got it in oh, the absolutely. worst case scenario you just put him out not yeah. at the top of the key but I mean, just, yeah, you know you somewhere out there on the you perimeter can't you can't ignore him, him. him yeah right it's, yeah you just no. add, draw up a play that's gonna basically draw attention to the defender nearest to bugs so the guy just tries to do some help defense it's like the history of our, our yeah. entire defense last year someone's gonna pull off their man to help he's wide open yeah i mean that, is it concerning to you that we would be his fourth school in as many years? No. Yeah, that's the day and age of college basketball, I feel like, at this point. I mean, I, yeah, you're right. How many schools did JQ go to? Jaquan? Well, um, I mean, JQ didn't really work out, though. Well, I know. I, I'm Jaquan just, didn't really work out. Eh, I'm going through it, though. Those are b- perhaps bad examples, I guess. All right, Jordan oh, Brown, know. how about that? I don't think I don't think any of that matters, right? I, I think that... People are going to move just to be happy. And that's kind of how it works out, man. If you don't that get the strikes and stuff like that. someone that will never be satisfied. You will never be satisfied. It's a little Hamilton if you reference. Know. You know. Which was impromptuly performed at TJ's wedding. That is true. God, maybe the whitest thing ever. <laughs> it's so wild to me. Could you catch this on fire? Oh, we could spit fire right now. <laughs> Kenny, do you have a light? No, he only does don't, the vaping. Don't do that. Um, okay, so we've talked about Aaron Scott. We've talked about JV3. Uh, final, another name that's popped up. Hmm. Local. I like this. Hashtag home. Hashtag, yeah, you'd have to hit him with it. Got to. But uh, Davon Barnes from the Bearcats of Sam Houston State, junior. From no, 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 no. He is the Dragons from Carryville, baby. Oh, sorry. My alma mater. Yes, sir. Uh, Go Dragons. <sighs> Average 13 and a half points a night, three and a half rebounds, 1.6 assists. Shot 42% from the field. Uh, and another right up there, 39.1% from three on f- over four and a half attempts a night. Wow. Oh. Bring him home. Yeah, I mean, what are we talking about? I, so this is a kid coming off of this. This isn't kind of what we've seen. In like, let's just be honest. Like PJ Tulsa, they were garbage. Colby, Wichita State, Dukey, yeah. Danger, Illinois. They were a good basketball. They're club. pretty good. Uh, Sam Houston State, which I did not realize won Conference USA this year. They were 13-3. and three. Relatively good. They should have been the tournament team, but they got knocked off in the conference tournament. 
Like they, I mean, they should have won the conference and, and gone to the tournament. Yeah. But, I mean, he's not coming from, like, a horrible, horrible program. I mean, he's coming from a, a team that won their league. Does he not kind of fit that mold that you were talking about a little bit, TJ, the whole kind of a, a good team in a mid-major conference? Sure. Like yeah. The I, Sun so I mean, that's exactly what I was, I was thinking. Point and that out. He's a perfect fit for that. Let's be real. He's a hometown kid, and he knows what this this club means to the city. Well, I think he specifically he knows what it means to Collierville. I think if you look Thank at you. everyone that the Tigers are going, that Penny's going after right now, you got John Bugs the third, Aaron Scott. Uh, well, I can't take you seriously. Uh, Colby Rogers, um, Barnes, all of these guys are. Are, are more so like let me prove it to you guys like I don't I don't think that they and I, I hate that I'm gonna say this and it's gonna sound awful but like I feel like JQ and guys that came from that power five level are are, are quote unquote stepping down to the American and they're like hey I don't have to work as hard I'm just gonna be better than everyone around me but everyone around me is busting their ass and so what we've seen is some of those transfers don't really work out so I think by grabbing guys and it's more of a lateral move. You're grabbing a, guy, a lot of workhorses, a lot of guys that feel like they have something to prove, and I think that's exactly what Penny needs. It's just a bunch of dogs on his roster. Yeah, they're going to work dogs. their ass off. We had no dogs last year. No dogs last year. Zero well, dogs. David Jones is a dog, just only on half the court. Okay, we didn't have enough dogs. We didn't have enough. Dogs. We didn't even talk about this, and we meant I meant I meant to bring this up. How wild! Speaking of dogs, how wild was it? The photo that Colby Rogers decided to use for <laughs> announcing his commitment. I, I don't know why. You know what it was, right? Oh yes. For those of you listening, you haven't seen it. Go see it. Hitman put it out. It is him in a Memphis uniform, and he is turned to the side, shushing. And if you remember correctly, that was him shushing our bench in the conference tournament. But he used it for his commitment photo, and he's now wearing a Memphis jersey. And when I tell you it pissed off Wichita State fans, I mean that's his, that is an understatement. Do you have the direct quote on that tweet? Uh, F you, you are dead. <laughs> you are dead to all of us. I think it's exactly what it said. <coughs> and that was only one of several. Yeah. F you, dead to me, dead to all of us. From, I will say from I've Doyle seen, Doyle. I've seen some wild stuff from Memphis fans on Twitter, so like we can't really speak, but there's, I mean, that is there's a, some wild stuff. Out that is there a right wild now. picture to choose, given the connection there. What are you gonna do, man? I love it though. Welcome to Memphis, Colby. Hell yeah, welcome to Memphis. Um, does it matter to you that um, Alabama and Kansas were the two schools they were fighting over, fighting him, fighting for for his services? If anything, I think that makes me feel better about it. Right? I mean, yeah. I mean, I think that's a good sign. I mean, I think statistically it speaks for – if you're shooting 40% on seven attempts a night, like, that speaks for itself. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, that's – I'm not mad at all that those were two of the teams that wanted him. Kansas supposedly very – Very much so, yeah. yeah. Who, the fuck does, or who the heck doesn't want a 40% a family dang, show? A family. 4%. Sorry, I, I'm working with 12 and a half. There is Miss a percent bourbon barrel of alcohol. Ages and Miss Leslie, F-bomb. I apologize. Yeah, no kidding, Miss Mom. Leslie, I apologize for TJ. Guys, here's a reminder. This is 12 fluid ounce can, and there's 12 and a half percent alcohol. That math ain't mathin'. And, and there's too much alcohol to content of can here. Not an, that's an excuse. It is an excuse. unacceptable. Excuses, excuses are like assholes, I kiss your mother Timothy. with that mouth. What? Mom, <laughs> was this in the Kroger parking lot when she thought that you were a hobo, a, a beggar? <laughs> a hobo came up to me, but it turned out to be TJ. <laughs> she could. She was clearly like. I think it was trying to avoid eye contact. I think it was the very next week. TJ came in with no hair. <laughs> I was like, I cut it, dude. <laughs> Got a cut. Oh, man. Uh, Sorry, Betty. I didn't mean to say the F word. What were you even saying? I don't even know anymore, dude. Well, all right. Uh, we did have some other basketball news tonight, today, Monday. Yeah. A little scheduling mm. announcement. Uh, our <coughs> Sorry, dude. I, like, I've been, I spent all week. Bless in, you. All outside. weekend outside. And uh, this allergy. beautiful. The this, pollen. It's in the face, dude. 
It was really beautiful. I don't know if you guys saw the picture that I posted that I took from, from uh, downtown, but it was great outside this this weekend. No, I saw you. I got a picture of you washing your your no the one I posted SUV on and rain boots. <laughs> Why would I not wear white shoes? I've just worn like sandals or just no don't shoes or no wool. shoes. I just yeah. don't want my feet wet. All right. What do you wear in the shower? Rain it's boots. different. I'm showering. Rain boots. Do you wear rain boots in the shower? Yeah, but the rest of my body. No, I, no, I was just most the of, of my body. He's wearing getting... rain boots with the shorts. Go ahead. Go back to the scheduling thing. Because I think that's interesting. Uh, I think it was first reported by John Rothstein. We're starting a home and home next year with UNLV in Vegas. Mm-hmm. I like it. I do too. I like it a lot. Get the running rebs on the sketch. I think it's it sounds like it's part of that little West Coast trip. San Francisco first. We're, we're taking before we head out to Maui. So yeah. it, it sounds like we're gonna play San Fran, UNLV, and then head to Maui. Which that non con schedule have we? Whew, uh, but we haven't even mentioned Maui yet. <laughs> oh god. I, don't, I actually don't. Don't only lie to you. I don't know legitimately. I don't even know if this is true. Does Shamanad still play in Maui? Huh? Shamanad. 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 The vi- the village guy. The yeah. M Night Shamanad. M Night. They're not in it anymore. M Night Shamanad. What are you saying? What is that? What is the local school that was always in? Where am I looking at? Right there. Why is Shamanad not in the Maui Invitational? Is that not the name of the team? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're correct. I just was not. Kenny and I were not computing. I was what not tracking with what you said. I've not. I did not wake up today on my I mean, bingo the guy card that and Shamanad is going to okay. be talked about. Uh, anyway, well, what I was going with is, I think <laughs> legitimately we are the only team in next year's Maui that didn't make the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Wait, we we didn't not make the NIT. We turned that down. I said no, NCAA. NCAA. NC yeah, I heard you. The two A. <laughs> yeah, that's not the we, NIT. We turned down the NIT. I know. We're having a twelve and a half percent bourbon aged. This, this episode is going quickly spooned. off the rails. So, for those who don't know, because I was not up to speed on all the teams at the Valley Invitational for twenty twenty. No, that's twenty twenty four. Yeah. Why are you being lying to me? I said twenty twenty five, bro. No, we're in it for twenty four. Oh, it is. Yeah. Is BCM going to Maui? I'm going to Maui. Okay, it is <laughs> UConn, Auburn, Colorado, Dayton, Dayton Ohio, Iowa State, your University of Memphis Tigers, Michigan State, and North Carolina. Wow. Right? That is a loaded. Honestly, who so do you Gabe, think we? Who do you think we get first? It's going to be UConn. Gabe and I talked about that on the on on the bluff. We talked about the Maui Invitational roster, and I legitimately thought that it was a troll when I saw that online a few weeks ago. I was like, "There's no way that's real. We're getting <laughs> trolled right now." What the that, teams? That, the teams that are there? Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty unreal. But I think is that. Do you think that has to do with nil opportunities, like as a whole? What do you mean? Well, if you are a foreign player, like there's a ruling that you can't. Maui is in the United it's States. A, Hawaii is the U.S. Hawaii oh yeah, you're right. It's the U.S. Where did we go last time? Oh, Dominican. Dominican. That's and where then it was. we went to the Bahamas. <laughs> That's what the Bahamas was thinking of. Dominican was the Bahamas is U.S. No, I don't think so. Oh, Bahamas is not U.S. God. <laughs> what? All right, Kenny, say something after you drink this astronaut. Yeah. We're up there in space, brother. What is that? It's been, been a long freaking... day. You forget what it's like to have kids, my man. Oh, I got see? two kids. Kenny, your kids are old enough to drive. Yeah, your daughter just did the voice of the ring girl when we called her. <laughs> yeah, it scared Trey. I called her and she's like, Hello. What what are the islands I'm thinking of that are US owned? Uh, Port- Puerto Rico, Virgin, Puerto Rico, Virgin, Rico Islands. Virgin Islands. Yeah, Virgin Islands. Yeah, I think a Caribbean. It's the Bahamas or Caribbean. I don't know how you want to word that. I don't think we know. Is it? Oh, as I a, don't know why I keep drinking this. A group of people. I don't think we know Caribbean, Caribbean. And our schedule next year is going to be out of conference, disgusting. Because what we still have, we have at Clemson. We play at Virginia. We return to Virginia game. Yep. Yep. 
at UNLV. At do we play a home game next year? <laughs> a yeah, do we have another? Mizzou. Yeah, Mizzou comes Mizzou's here. At home. Oh, do they? Yeah. Clemson, UVA, NL, UNLV, San Fran, and Maui. Wow. I feel like we're missing something. Darn it. Besides was the, Mizzou, is there another SEC? Texas A&M, is that a home and home? I think oh, we yeah, finished that. I thought we finished that. Did we finish that? Did we? We've gone home and home. I mean, why would we go home and home and home? I thought it was... Unless yeah. it's multiple years. I was thinking it was 4-2. That's wrong. Anyway, he's putting together another good slate. Yeah, I mean, the the one thing we have to worry about is uh, apparently the conference play. That's what we learned this year. I mean, we're going to be the favorites, right? What are we worrying about? Actually being the favorites when it's all said and done. Yeah. I'll be honest isn't... with you, man. UAB is doing some okay. damage, man. I was about to say. Define damage. What do you mean they, got, they brought back their two best players, number one. Butter Johnson and Yaxel. Nice little – that's a nice little hey. – Okay, if this nickname is Butter, I did not know that. Butter. You're talking about the big guy? The the guard. Butter. Who's the guy I'm thinking of? The guy I'm thinking of is a bigger guy. No, no, no. Oh, they had a thick dude. Yeah, they had a big guy. I think his last name was Daniels. Mm. Who's the guy that got hurt when we played him? Oh, that was the little guard. Mm. No, 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 no. Sorry, different guy then. This guy was big. I don't know. Thickety thick. Not that. Gaines. No, no, no. Gaines is a guard too. Coleman? I don't remember. Whatever, no. dude. Not that important. Bombs. Yeah, I'm not scared of UAB. Famous last words. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Basketball, Trey? Um, no, but it is game week, so when we come back, we'll talk about that. Yeah, we're four days away from spring game. What are we doing? We'll five, be right back. Five days? Five days. Former Memphis Tiger, um, former Creighton Blue Jay. Uh, Jonathan Lawson didn't play many minutes at either place. No. no, I like Jonathan though. I wish he would have stayed around last year. I felt that way too because I think he really had some of those moments where you were like, he's got the length, he can handle the ball, he, he can, can shoot. shoot, he can pass the ball, and but it, but it's just never really materialized. So my one big pause, I don't know if he's really someone that you want to pursue. As a scholarship player, when you have so many holes I'll say this. to fill, he's one. Of, he's probably the most athletic Lawson. Oh, by far. Yeah, definitely. so like definitely. he can run the floor. Yeah, um, yeah. I, and I, I think he's got a little bit of upside defensively that you could probably unlock. You just got to get him in the right place at the right time. I would like it. I would not mind it in the slightest. I- Tune into On the Bluff with Christian Fowler and Gabe Coon every Tuesday at 12 p.m. on the Bluff City Media YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm a hip-hop head. I love rap. I can listen to rap all day long. Everybody's been talking about the Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Drake stuff, and Kendrick dropped his bar and all that. But, like, you know, everybody's talking about that. Cole had his little weak ass, lullaby ass return. <laughs> J. Cole, 39 years old. <laughs> Drake, 38 years old. That was old. my first thought when uh, Kendrick Lamar dropped Kendrick Lamar, I want to say 36 years 36, old. 36, yep. Y'all dudes are way too close to 40 yes, to be having this type of conversation. Yep. Like, y'all y'all are too established as grown men and as artists and as rappers, yep. all those, t- and as billionaires, millionaires to have these type of stuff. Like, no. Eight like, years too late. This this should have happened when, when Kendrick dropped. No. This happened when Kendrick dropped right. control. You know what this, all this kind of, all this comes out to me? Comes out fake as hell. Yeah. It comes out like it's like it's a rollout. So. It is a rollout. And J. Cole showed it when him apologized. Like, Here's the, look showed. at the timing of this, bro. Look at <laughs> look at the timing of this whole thing, <laughs> right? Tune in to the Anthony Sane Show, Wednesdays and Fridays at 12 p.m. weekly on the Bluff City Media YouTube channel. I was back.
back. Freaking drunk, man. <laughs> hey, this episode has had more, even during the break, we were sitting here going, TJ, what are you saying right now? Like his, this beer has made his communication skills like lack Tank. severely. Just be not, just not be able to get his words out. I mean, I, it, I told you, tongue my tongue is numb. Is numb. <laughs> uh, it's game week, fellas. It really is, dude. I got that itch you can't scratch. No, I can't say it that way. That's not the. <laughs> that's like committee. Or something. That's not what I mean. Yeah, that's not what I meant. <laughs> All right, cut that. Didn't mean to say it that way. Uh, <laughs> I got the itch that only the football team can scratch. Damn, it's not getting any better, huh? Yeah. Only the football cream can scratch. <laughs> Let's say only the football team can scratch. Uh, it's game week. Unfortunately, it's not Friday night stripes. No. It is Saturday at 3 p.m. stripes. Is it two or three? I think it's three. Is it three? Okay. 3 p.m. More Simmons conducive Bank. to nap times. Uh. Yeah, that'll be right for us, pretty much. Well, yeah. she might be waking up. I don't know. Or Jordan will be waking up. I'll make him go to bed early. Make him. That's a rough word. Uh, what are you hoping to see out of the spring game? That's a good question. I think there's a lot of a lot of position battles kind of going on. I think they're going to be working on that pr- pretty much throughout all spring and fall. Let me ask you this. Do you want to see like a ones versus ones twos versus twos or do you want to do it like they did it last year where it was like a draft and it's two teams intermingled in with ones and twos mm. and threes and i think they were they're more likely to do what they did last year the draft yeah but i, well, think, I think they set up a lot of camp around that yeah I, yeah yeah they break up in this team so yeah. like, like the golf competition and yeah. stuff um i'd rather see ones versus twos just Same. to be frank but ones, I th- yeah yeah ones versus ones excuse me and twos twos but i think you're putting out Putting out too much film at that point, but you're also you're kind of giving away your your depth chart and your lineup at that point. And some I know a lot of schools do it, so like it's whatever. But I personally I want to see who the depth chart is because yeah. it kind of puts me in a better spot. Like big question at left tackle. I think you got right tackle figured out. Right guard, we saw Malachi Breland finish the year in the bowl game there. Big yeah. guy, super um, a lot of praise. For, for Breland and, and kind of how he's lost weight and kind of really grown up throughout the year. Need to find a new center. Looks like yeah. our fan of the show, Jonah Gamble. Shout out to Jonah. And shout out to Jonah. Does he listen? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, shout dude. out Jonah Gamble. Yeah, Jonah Gamble's listening, dude. You have to get him on and get him one of these astronauts. Let's go. I don't Whoa. know that I would put that on anybody. Well, I will say he's a big guy. So I think he could probably handle it a little better than we could maybe. But... <laughs> yeah, Colby Crocs and Jonah, both big fans of the show. Who shout the out because Colby Crocs? What? You just said Colby Crocs. Yeah, I did. Colby Is Cox. It, does he go by Crocs? That's like the they made it a shirt. Not a one fun put out a shirt and said uh, Colby Crocs. I guess he wears really? Crocs. I can only assume he wears Crocs. You wear Crocs. I'm I didn't. Right I now. have them on this evening. Um, Shout out, Colby. Yeah, both, Sorry, both I didn't know you went show. by Colby Crocs. Yeah. Um, Xavier Hill, where is he going to end up? Yeah, I feel like he's played everywhere on the offensive line at this point. I just want to see the boys having fun, you know? Yeah. I want to see what Mario looks like. Seeing some posts, him breaking off what look like some lengthy runs. Should we be concerned about that? Should we? Why? <laughs> well, you can't break off a run every now and then? You can, but I hope our defense is tackling and break for a loss. Yeah, but then would you be concerned that we just Mario's not running? Yeah, make it, <laughs> he's not breaking long runs. Touche. <laughs> you have to, could have a little bit on both sides. I know, I know. I was kidding, really. Um, there's just a lot of positions. We want it position to be balance for We want uh, we want to see a long broken off tutty run from Mario, and then we want to see him st- stuffed in the backfield twice. You got to let Nowiski get in there and do, and do his thing for a little bit longer than that. Well, yeah. His works really with the defensive line, though. And I think they have a, an interesting group of guys in determining what they're going to do with that. I mean, I think we talked about it last year. They rotated what felt like entirely too many guys at the defensive line. Couldn't get in a groove. I know. And I think you need more Cormonte on the field. And I think that he was playing like an arbitrary number here, 
40 percent of the snaps and i think that's just too few right patrick lucas is going to be dead center um who else we got whitlow is probably most likely to be the one that replaces Jalen allen now that i think about it um they liked him a lot last year i think whitlow will be that guy off the edge um who are we forgetting oh, my boy freaking trench baby Derek Hunter, another guy we could see in there. They, they have enough. Kiviante Spears, I think. I think he had a really good year last year. Uh, Bear Anderson. I thought he left. Didn't yeah. Kiviante leave? Who left off the defensive line? Went pro. Who who entered the draft? No, it was it was a uh, Allen Terrence um, McLean. Went, yeah, the right the tackle. right tackle. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He had another year of eligibility. I think he could have benefited from another year. But look, if someone tells you you got a chance, go for it, my man. Make your money. Do what you need to do. Yeah. Um, for, for me, it's just it, there's just a lot of position battles. So I'm going to see it work out. A lot of new guys in the secondary, which we've talked about. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where guys are at back there. Uh, Timothy. ESPN put out an article last week. 30 coaches who will define the next decade of college football. I saw this. You know who was on the list? I do. Not in the coaches named Deion Sanders category. What? No, I was just laughing at that. Uh, but in the group of five representatives, none other than our own Ryan Silverfield yeah. is listed. It's a good point, though. I mean, if you think about it, he was listed for Illinois. Was it the Illinois job or Indiana? Indiana. Indiana. Indiana, Indiana job. His name was out there for that one. And outside of just his name floating around and the general success he just had with this last year's team, what's to say that he's they don't have enough to to make the playoffs this year? I mean, they could very well be the group of five representatives. Some are saying that we check every box. They they did say that. It seemed a little little early. Saw another post last week. I think it was college football. Who was it? I don't know. One of those college football accounts listed the ranking of every G5 team when we were number one. <coughs> That's interesting to me. I really thought John Summerall at Tulane was going to get more. I mean, he's, he's getting a lot of love. Yeah, I thought he would get a lot of love because he, he had a very good staff at Troy. He pretty much took everybody at Tulane where they just are Troy juiced up. Like they just have more money. To do more things. Juice Troy. They've got quite literally the state of Louisiana to just pull from. Here he goes. College football budge. Never heard of them. Listed 64 group of five power rankings. We're number one. Right ahead of Boise. And then three, your boy. Is that Goalish? No. Who? Oh, Summerall? Yeah. Goalish, uh, they're eight. Okay. Not bad. No. Gabe was saying something about um, one writer was predicting the college football playoffs and had Memphis at the 12 seed and had Notre Dame at the five. Gabe literally doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> it wasn't Gabe. He was just reporting the facts. <laughs> he was reporting what someone else said. Well, Notre Dame's got a weird situation. With Hold the, on. we got to put thing. you on the spot. No, oh, Tigers. I haven't even asked my question. It doesn't matter. Tigers. Tigers on top. I was going to say, who do you pick to lose the game? No, you don't, you clown. No one asked, it. No one asked that question, you clown. Oh, you, Notre, you secret guy. Notre Dame lover. This I mean, guy, we dude. would be going back, right? Well, I haven't been, but you went, like, what, two years or three years ago? Uh, 2017. November of 2017. Ten years ago. <laughs> I thought that was, like, last fall. <laughs> no, nah, man. 2017? You're lying to First me. I just course. spit all over the place. Good thing this is the last night in the studio. Yeah, it's 2017 versus Wake Forest. Beautiful campus. Really? Yeah. I, I do think everyone should go to a game there. It is insane to me. Just that old of a – it's like, you know, it's one of those bucket list stadiums if you get a chance to go to. Yeah. Oregon at Austin Stadium. It's a big house. Simmons Bank. Simmons Bank, of course. The, the Horseshoe. I mean, like, there are so many stadiums. Like, I think you just kind of have Sims to Sims have been to. trying to get me to go to the big house forever. You got to do it. I think it'd be nice, dude. Except, you know, on that list is Neyland. And I'm not, this isn't like an anti UT thing. I just don't think Neyland's that nice. I've only walked around the exterior of it. I mean, it's nice, but like at certain points, you could see where they just stopped investing in money. And it's like, I think they're putting, aren't they? they, they they've made a lot did. of renovations. It's, it's probably been five years since I've been in anyway. 
at least five years. What? Who else is on your list? Of stadiums to visit? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, so Oregon, Ohio State, Michigan. Um, I've already – Notre Dame already been to. Um, I've been outside of the swamp. I didn't go in for a game mm. because I was there for work. But what about Doak Campbell? Mm. Check that one off this year. I think so. I think so. Mm. What? Maybe. We'll see if the wife lets me. Mm. That'd be a sick place to go. To I'm working in a family beach trip around it. Honestly, your – the way you sold me on Jordan Hare makes me want to put Jordan Hare up there. But it, granted, that was a different beast of a game. I don't think that counts, but it was an experience. But I also was watching top five LSU versus Cam Newton and Auburn. So, yeah, I think the game and itself. Yeah, kind of I think a that makes a that. difference. right? But I will say watching the Eagle fly in is one of the coolest pregame things I've ever seen. Well, I guess you aren't paying attention to people racing a go-kart with on the Tiger foot? helmet. That gets a... 10-yard start, which doesn't even make sense. Do you think someone could beat that thing? Somebody has. Somebody did it this year. Really? Yeah, dude smoked it. Were you not Collegiate there? athlete? No, I just don't just think I was paying attention. I was probably ordinary Joe. down in a Prano Pup, TBH. That thing, it doesn't. I beat you on Prano Pup, so let's talk about that. We Can we talk about tied. that? No, I had more than you. Kenny, roll the tapes. Yeah, y'all ate like two if all year. Look, oh, here's the thing, uh, y'all are, Kenny, here's y'all are thing. silly. Here's the thing. I, I can't eat when I'm nervous, okay? I was very disappointed in the grand total of Pronto Pups eaten by both of y'all. Yeah, it's called financial. financial. Yeah, well-being. after week four when I went to go buy my Pronto Pup and the guy before me didn't swipe his card and I didn't pay attention <laughs> to the total and I ended up paying for like 15 Pronto Pups, I was out for the year. Yeah, the financial well-being is what we need to talk about there. We'll get back after it this year. I mean, do you think they have product pups at the spring game? I made. I don't think the concession. I made double up. Are the concessions open? Double product pups, man. I bet you will double up. Double foot long up. That's almost, that's a quad. Two dogs in each. Of I those. didn't see a thing that it was a baseball challenge. More so, we're off topic now, but it was what? nine. It was a baseball challenge. Nine beers oh, and, nine, and nine hot dogs in nine, in nine innings. innings. Yeah. And I I don't know if I could do it. I really don't know if I could do it. I mean, yeah, well. Nine 12-ounce beers. Not in today's baseball. So they split yeah, it up a pitch pitching count. clock. <laughs> Old school, though. I don't know. Some of those games were long. You take advantage of that seventh inning stretch. Depends on what what beer size are we talking about. I think twelve ounces is the only thing that makes sense. Not I mean, twelve, 12 of these, not nine no. of these. Good lord! I'm not sure that I could get through one of these in nine innings. <laughs> are we talking about just like the quick wrapped up hot dog too? Yeah, just a standard dog. Nine. Mustard, relish, ketchup, whatever you want to put on it. Onions. Goodness gracious! You can't load that nine of them. You're not loading it up. You got a raw dog. I back. know you got you had some food lube on there. You got to put some ketchup or mustard on there. I mean a little bit, but you can't throw on onions and relish. Dipping the bun in your beer, hammering oh. it down like Joey. Legitimately having drink this that's making me want to throw up. <laughs> Kenny, how many hot dogs could you eat in one baseball game? One of my favorite Joey Chestnut stories, by the way, is the birth of our first daughter, Catherine. We got. <laughs> She was born on July 1st. I would say she was, she's right there with it. We so were in the room. Natalie was in labor. The TV, I had the TV on, and it was on the hot dog <laughs> contest. And I don't think my wife has ever been more disgusted in her entire life than having that on while she was in labor. That's fair. It was a rerun, though, because it was July the 1st. But I don't even know where we're at. Go to the spring game. Go to the spring game. Definitely go out there, dude. I'm excited. You sound like it. I am excited. I mean, I look, it's we've been talking about basketball for 15 months now, it feels like. Good Lord. Are you good, my man? Are you good? I need to go home. Let's no, I just want thing. football back. I, we've been talking about basketball so much. I want football Ugh. and basketball to both be good at the, the same spring time. spring game is such Let's a tease. It. I really Remember is. when we saw freaking Tevin to, what was it, Bell? Was his name? Eric Rivers. Eric Rivers. I was gonna say I was saying Eric Bell. Who's Eric Bell? I don't know. Eric Bell was in our fraternity. <laughs> DJ Bell is the defensive <laughs> back. So I don't know where you're at. <laughs> hey, it's Julian Barnett season. Did you see that Instagram post? I did. 
I did see that. Hopefully they move him to star and he gets to play some form of safety like I've been asking for. He had a pick six against the third string team. Well, was it third string? I want to – man, honestly, I yeah. want to see Julian Barnett have a good year. I want to see Julian Barnett on the field not getting hurt celebrating a kickoff coverage tackle. This is a complete side note, by the way. Eric Rivers had 32 catches for 370 yards and two touchdowns with a long of 48 yards. Where did he go? F- FIU with Mac. R- really? Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. Good for him. He might have a big year this year. Why not? It was his first season down there, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I think it was. I used to use FIU and. Uh, <laughs> And say for what? No, I, I I'm right there with you. If real grinders, you got to FIU. You have to they start at a one star Akron. Program. Yeah, no, Kent State. You got to start low. Yeah, that's why I would start at FIU. I don't. Nobody wants to be in Ohio. Why not? In state recruiting was so easy. Didn't Akron play in an indoor? Yeah, <laughs> they do actually play. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that they hold that against you in the video game though. I just didn't like it. I wanted to be out in the elements. <laughs> That's where football should be played. I, I use Buffalo a lot. Out there in the weather. Buffalo is nice. They had a nice blue-black combo. Really? Did you see this is completely off topic? Did you Who see did them white, talking about Whitey lightning beams here? Oh, man, where were we? Whitey laser beams was his name, first of all. TJ's on year 2076 in NCAA oh. football 14. No, higher than that, probably. There's no way you're higher than that. I will literally go home. Well, not tonight. How many did you simulate? No. No. Trey, I don't think you understand. And I've had to explain this to my wife. I have a past, a dark past, where I would get home from work, turn on the Xbox, and I would play countless games of NCAA. You could ask Sean, like, how many hours I would just sit in my room playing play NCAA. It was like... How long were quarters? Five or six minutes, probably. Shorter game, but like, no, not playing 10 minute quarters. This isn't real. I mean, I don't ever, I didn't play 10 minute quarters. That's absurd. That is absurd. Yeah. Like six, probably six minutes. I think if I'll go home and look at it, but no, that's tonight. But I'll look. I'll six, up even six minute quarters, it's a, that's a lengthy. I was I mean, trying supposed to win 45 minutes to an hour of a game. 97 to three, you know, hmm. with two clock mode on. Look, it was a dark past, okay? We talked about this. Who's going to be our highest-rated player? We haven't, and I think it's going to be Seth. Do you? Yeah, it's just the quarterback thing. Not that's, Mario? How, that's how it works. No. Ooh. It's just See, I was the thinking car- Chandler, works. but then I'm like, I don't, are they going to give him the respect he deserves? No. I Probably think it'll be not. a thing where he gets high speed and great Seth? acceleration. No, Chandler. Oh. I think that uh, they just talked about this. I don't know if you saw the video. I retweeted it. Seth thinks he's going to be an 83. I think he'll probably be an 85. And then Chandler will probably be an 84-ish. What did he think he was going to be? I think he said an 80. I think they went humble with it, which is what you're supposed to do, right? You can't come out and be like, oh, I'm going to be an 88, and then you come back as an 80 because everyone's going to clown on you. There's a few players on that uh, 2019 team that would have been like, yeah, I'll be a 98. DeMonte Coxie being one of them. <laughs> You need some of those guys, though. Oh, yeah. no, they definitely had a couple of those. We need what? some of those on that. On What's his team. name? Joe Skates would have definitely been one of those guys. Oh, goodness. Skates goodness. would have had the speed through the roof. I know that. I don't wish we had Skates back. I don't. We have Skates. What do you mean? Skates who can catch. Shorter. Not saying he is shorter. I think he actually physically is shorter, but his last name? Yeah. Shorter. He has, like... 37 yards per catch. That's ridiculous. That is absurd. Is that more impressive than 42% from three? <laughs> it's funny you make that. I was literally just thinking in my head, I was like, damn, what's more impressive? That or the the advanced analytics for... I think 40-plus on seven attempts is more impressive. Than Dude, it was like 40% on spot-up threes for, for the we're last talking couple of 37 years. yards a catch on like... No, it was, it was a lot. And it was no. like... Oh, relative. Oh, it was so like no, a no, catch no. a game. No, it was more than that, and it was also like eleven touchdowns to twenty three catches. I'm making that up off the top of my head. Okay, yeah. So like two catches a game. 
It was not 11 tutties. Uh, no, it was. That's what I'm saying. It was something absurd. Where? At UNT, before he went to Auburn. Jair Shorter is who we're talking about. He, he had 11 him. tutties that year? Dude, it was something absurd. I'm telling you, I'm looking I it up right I now. I could have. I, I'm, I'm being. It was six. No. No. It was something absurd. I remember seeing it and being like, what? Kenny, are you Googling this as well? I'm inebriated, so. Um, what do y'all think about this um quarterback recruit that's com- that's going coming on an official visit? Which one? Oh, the four star kid. Um, yeah. If the the things I've heard about what we pay our quarterbacks now is true, then it doesn't surprise me. Well, I don't think you're paying them that, but this kid. Um, I so Memphis actually had a couple four star guys come in. And depending on, I guess, Keelan Hall, he was not a four star. Hundred percent, he was a four star JUCO kid. Yes, look it up. He's a, a JUCO kid. What, I don't, he is one of our highest rated recruits. A, a JUCO ever. kid doesn't Wait, matter. College four star. of the look at it. College. Look of, at it. Oh gosh, what was he? That Louisiana school. No, he came from California. You clown. Was he California? Yeah, pretty sure. He and the defensive tackle that wore number thirty three that pissed me off. More so than Tevin wearing 21, which he's still wearing at MTSU. Pretty equivalent. Or wear at Tennessee State. I feel like that makes me a crabby old man that I'm mad that people wear that. Antoine Hill is who he's talking about. Um, College of the Sequoias, mm-hmm. I think is where he – or Keelan Hall. Someone is yelling at us right now. Listen to this. With what? Just been like, you idiots. Um. I honestly don't even know where we started, where we came from, how we got to Arkeelan Hall. But you're just sucked. looking at what overall he was awful number. How the hell did he end up at Washington State? What? No, he didn't. Yes, he committed to Washington State. He left here. No, I think that was before here. Oh, okay. He was the number two hundred thirty-eight quarterback. I was like a hundred percent. He did not. Go to Washington State. For that was that was pre JUCO. Uh, I thought he was College of Sequoias. Maybe not. I can't seem to find anything that supports that. It does say Vesalia, California. College mm-hmm. of the okay, whatever. He was a three star Sequoias. Was that right? Previous school, College of the Sequoias. Listen to these offers, though: Miami, Oregon, San Diego State, yeah, Memphis. Dude. Yeah, it's I will say JUCO is wild in how they do the, those rankings. If they're not from Kansas, Mississippi, or what's the Kansas JUCO? I keep telling me a lot of you the name of it. If they're not from Kansas JUCO, Mississippi JUCO, is it Independence? Yeah, yeah. Well, that well, is they a, were one. That is there's a another one up there. there, but that's not like that's the where what's it? it? That's where the Netflix show was. Second yeah. Chance You, uh, or even like the guy from Iowa, Jonathan Young. Like, I feel like Iowa boys are just like straight up fed corn all damn day. I think they're ready to battle down in the trenches. If they're not from there, like I, I just kind of, I don't know. Maybe it looks bad, but I kind of think less of them as a as a rating. If that makes sense. <laughs> or Keelan is our fifth overall rated commit ever. Everyone around him wasn't very good. Uh. So, Trey, 23 catches, 628 yards, 11 touchdowns. JK, that was at that point in time. Say that again. 23 catches, 628 yards, 11 touchdowns. 23 catches, 11 touchdowns. That's ridiculous. That is, okay. That's a video game stat. Yeah. In 13 games. Yeah. You were right. I was wrong. What's new? What's new, pussycat? If you're ever out anywhere that has a jukebox and that song comes on, TJ is in the vicinity of your building. All right, let's get let's get an astronaut status, dude. What do you think about the can? I'm gonna go ahead and let you know right here, right now. There's too many words on here. There's a lot of words. It's it's a lot of words. The astronaut. I do kind of like the astronaut. It's given me. is it MTV that uses that as their award thing? 
I was just thinking that. It gives me those vibes. Um, I like the can. I think it's interesting enough to put the astronaut on there because I feel like I'm pretty high up there. I'm getting, I'm getting a headache. I think I'm already hungover. I will say it a little irony that it's called astronaut side, status for high gravity, but like, gosh, there's no gravity. How much there. is left in there? Oh, it's empty, dude. You finished that? Yeah. Holy cow. I There's a lot left. For me. This isn't. Buff City Media, the baby shitting, babysitting show. The baby shitting <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, kids, man. The baby shit. Uh, the babysitting show, you know? I'm not good. There's just no way. Um, I like the can. Let's we'll throw it out it's there. It's fine. Too many words. A lot of words. For me, I do like the astronauts, but uh, not enough detail, I think. I don't like that it says 2023. I don't. I bought this beer yeah, how a couple weeks these? ago. So, I don't, I like don't know. That. This is like a six-two can, mm. six flat. Is that high? You say six-two? Six-two six is what six you flat. gave. Six flat. Okay. I get more than that. Not much more. It's like a six-five can. It's decent enough. I like the galaxy stuff going on in the background. What about the beer itself? Mm-mm. Well, here's the thing. This is what's tough. Is you have are you grading this on a standard beer scale? Or are you grading this on the bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with why cinnamon and vanilla? You, why would it get a separate scale? I don't know. I'm gonna let you know. I didn't get any cinnamon or vanilla beans. No. I've gotten a lot of bourbon. <laughs> a lot of barreled wood chips in there. What is happening? I don't know. Kenny, can you explain that? There's a that lot noise. of sirens and horns going off in the park. I think we've lost Kenny. Gotta be real honest. I'm here. I gotta be honest with you. This is <coughs> I have no desire to ever drink this ever again. I'm gonna be real honest with you. I think I would drink another one. You get give me two of these going into a tiger game. I think I'm good for the whole game. The whole game, I'm you good. You would not make it to halftime. No, I wouldn't make it to halftime. No. I'd be peeing on the field as that guy was peeing on the, the sideline that one day. Player. Next to like us. five times. I know. A jerk. I mean, I'm this. It's oh. just not for me. And so I like five, two. <laughs> it's not. I just. All right. So there's a lot going on here. There's definitely no I feel like cinnamon it needs or to vanilla be beans. Stirred up. You like a little milk frother in there? It needs to be, yeah. It needs to be like poured into a glass with a an appropriate head. I do think it would benefit from being in a glass, but also I want it as cold as possible. Oh, I. For those of you that didn't <laughs> see, I brought this in in a gallon size Ziploc with a bunch of ice. Because <laughs> I, yeah, I knew that this needed to be ice cold, or it was going to be <laughs> disgusting. I mentioned it. I almost brought it last week. But I was like, this isn't that cold. But a part of me was like, I can make mine really cold and make Trey's kind of warm and no. just not chill us down. But if this if this had <laughs> not been ice cold, I wouldn't have even I probably would have vomited on the first <laughs> sip. Um I will go the opposite route of Trey. I'm gonna try to treat it as a unique beer. I could probably drink two and one for one halftime. I don't believe you. I would I mean at halftime I'm gonna be it's going to be shirts for skins, no matter who we're playing. What? Yeah. I'm going to be shirtless, ready to play anyone on the field who's wearing a shirt. Somebody come by the tailgate this year <laughs> and bring two of these so TJ finishes them both. No, I, all right. So, I mean, in all seriousness. If anything, it's going to have to be like late November, December game. Yeah, it's going to have to be a I mean, cold you're not drink, I can't do this drinking this on Labor Day. August or September type of game. Um, I think I could drink two of them. I would need someone to drive me now home. Now that it is warm, I can't. Yeah. It's. I definitely need someone to take me home. Um, this it tastes illegal. <laughs> it does. It, there's a lot going on there, but I think it's fun enough to make it count. Um, it sucks, but like in a good way. Does that make sense? You know what I'm talking about. I guess. I mean, it's like when people say it's is like a train wreck. You just can't look away. Exactly. That's exactly what it was. I just kept drinking more. Uh, I think I, just, I kept drinking it to try to find the vanilla, I and I didn't truly, get that. I and I, now I'm drunk. I cannot finish it. I'm gonna I have mean, to kept, call my parent, my my in laws to come take me home. Well, since the wife is with the kids, 
I don't know what I'm going to do. And he's going <laughs> to have to drive us home. Can he take us home? Uh, I'll, if I'm going to give it, I'll say a seven flat. That one was a little bit better. I stir, I little swirlies. Yeah. I'll say seven flat because I do think I would. That is <laughs> extreme. It is, but I want and someone a ridiculous to, rating for me. Again, astronaut status, why is it? I need someone else to get this and let us know because I think it's interesting enough that someone out there is going to like it. I am confident that my lawnmower would run off of this. <laughs> It's 12.5%. That is the highest ABV I think I've ever had. I mean, it's wine. We, I mean, we I complain have, about I've, that 10%. I've had diesel in my drinking water, and this is far and away worse. 7%. Or 7, uh, seven out of 10. That's that my is, scale. That is absolutely ridiculous. I challenge anyone to try it and, and give me your feedback. Please do. Put it in the comments. Trey says 5-2, I say 7. Let's meet in the middle. It's not a six. We'll see. I'm making you're drinking two of these before the spring game. No, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll have no. the kids with me. Can't do it before the spring game. Tough. <laughs> that's what's happening. Tune in next week to see how uh two astronaut statuses with statuses with TJ goes at the spring game. Astronaut stratus kind of makes sense too. I'm up there right now. We are in the stratosphere. Yeah. And you guys need to come back next week. We will be virtual. It's been a real pleasure being in studio with you. <sighs> RIP, man. Almost a f we made it. Kenny, I'm we almost made it a full team. year. I'm taking this with me. Is that yours? Did I? What bring are you going to take from the studio? Do you all, anybody want that uh, red refrigerator? I don't have any. The one that makes that. us look super cool. Apparently. Wait, is that my is that my Tubby Smith bobblehead? Did you bring it? Did I bring that in here? I don't think so. I think it might be. No. I don't know. Tell us what we can I want have. that count cotton bowl helmet. Oh God, no. No, no, no. Can't take that. Why? If we can get it back. Whose is it? It's somebody else's. Which is who? Can't tell you. I have one at home, but it's in its packaging. No, I'm behind. You'll need this to decorate the new studio. Spoilers, dude. He already said he was gonna find us a new place. Sure. All right, cool for the beer. Take we need to run home by. If you enjoyed this episode of Tigers Untapped, leave a rating and a review wherever you download your podcasts. Like and subscribe at Bluff City Media's YouTube page. Head over to www.bluffcitymedia.co for comprehensive coverage of Memphis sports.